Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel to Rich Views. I'm Richard and today we're here with Charlie Drummond who's actually collecting the 458 to take it up to Reap Midlands for detailing and more specifically for a full PPF um, clear coat covering. That's it, the car's off to Reap Midlands and some footage will come forward with regards to the actual preparation work that's been performed on the car and the PPF. So goodbye 458 for now. We've got the 458 here, the 458 has been, uh, had some work performed in it by Reap Midlands and I'm just going to introduce you now to Pete George who owns Reap Midlands. Hello Pete. Hello, good to see you. So this is Hi. Pete George, Reap Midlands. Um, Pete, Tell us a little bit about your company. How did your company come about? What, what, what made you move into uh, PPF and, and paint protection film? Well, uh, going back many years ago, uh, my career started as a, a panel beater painter. That was my world into the motor trade. Kind of quickly sped through the, the hands-on side of working on cars. I've got an understanding of paint, how it all works, how cars work. Then went into recruitment, short story, um, missed automotive morphed recruitment and automotive went into automotive recruitment and then working with my uh, now business partner on a project in recruitment for initially REIT, as it was REIT Yorkshire. Um, got talking, got on, a lot of synergy and we thought let's set up a business which we did and REIT Midlands was born um, off the back of really understanding cars and how they work and servicing the customers needs because we just felt that the customers weren't being looked after in the sector it's quite a um uh, a traditional sector but I we guess, wanted to modernize it i guess it's normal it's built from a passion for cars as well 100 percent, and people yeah you know you're all right i quite yeah. like you so <laughs> you can come back i pay him to say that yeah <sighs> and how long has reap been running now reap midland has been running uh nearly five years oh wow so we, we basically took this building eight and a half thousand square foot it's a square box and literally just custom built it. And the, the whole place was kind of mapped out with masking tape, bits of wood. We wanted to, def we wanted to defy what everyone else did and create something unique. Um, luckily it worked. <laughs> um, and if pe people want to get hold of you and they want their car PPF, obviously I give my full recommendation for Pete George for his work at Reap Midlands. He was heavily recommended to me. My car's come up from Wiltshire. It's a long distance away, Leicester. So if I'm prepared to put my car, people know who know me know how pedantic I am. So if I'm willing to bring my car to you Pete are, George, you are then pedantic. Then he's very pedantic. He's a pain in the backside. <laughs> pain in the backside. Most um. people will know that's true. So if I'm prepared to bring my car here to Pete, then I can I can uh, acknowledge that Pete really knows his stuff and he's going to do a fantastic job for you. So if people wanted to contact you, Pete. How would they go about contacting you? Uh, Phone the main office. Uh, typically, we're always on the phone throughout the day. I'm, I'm here 98% of the time. But phone the office. We, we don't hide away from speaking to people behind emails, etc. Pick up the phone. We want to talk to you. Come in. We can have a consultation. Talk about your car. Talk about what you're looking for. It, it's good to see a car before we work on it. Because sometimes you don't need the coverage that you think you do. You might need more. You might need less. But we need to see the car. And one of the, one of the important things that... that um uh, Pete mentioned to me, which I didn't know about, was I've, I've been involved in paint correction before, not me myself personally, but involved in managing it on a previous car, my 993S. And my perception was you need to get the paint absolutely flawless, perfect, before you put the film on. 
Um, but I was always concerned in when you do that, you're actually removing layers of the actual lacquer. So of course you're, you're removing the chances of actually any paint correction going forward in the future without having to respray the car because you can't just spray lacquer on the car. You can't just remove lacquer and respray lacquer. So Pete mentioned that um, it's not a good idea. You only take off the minimum amount and you, you just do a minimum paint correction because uh, that's all you need, especially if you're putting film on it. Obviously the film is going to enhance the car to a certain degree um, and you don't need to do that extensive amount of work where you're removing layers and layers of, of paint. So it was a very good call. I never knew about that. It's and it's logical. Point. And it's logical. Absolutely. You know, it's, sometimes it can be overly theatrical and it's all about the showmanship, but in reality, the paint needs to be to a good enough standard for the film to go on to reflect the condition of the car. So you want to always get rid of imperfections, whether it's pigtails, whether it's fallout, whether it's chips, where we can touch those up, but we suggest one per panel max. Um, but PPF is quite forgiving. You don't need to take the paint down to raw level before you put the PPF on. Why would you? Why do you need to take off the protection? Exactly. Leave the paint on there, or leave the lacquer on there. Yeah, it's very logical, very logical. So, now we're going to do the reveal, guys. So this is the we second are. reveal, the first reveal when I bought it, and this is going to be the second reveal. So, I've got a good feeling that it's going to look better than when I picked it up. <laughs> of course it will. Here we go. impressed I mean just look at it. it looks like a brand new car in fact it looks better than when it rolled off the production line absolutely incredible so now I'm going to get Pete to walk around to actually explain exactly what's been done to the car so Pete if I can hand it over to you right so full coverage means full coverage so all of the externally painted areas have been covered in paint protection film gloss self-healing paint protection film all of the templates that we have are pre-cut so our paint protection film partner premium shield work with all the manufacturers old and new to get the templates absolutely perfect we can adjust them in-house so older ppf or cars that are slightly older the coverage may have been questionable years ago but we can amend those in-house so they're rolled over they're wrapped so full coverage is full coverage so every panel that you see the handles the mirrors the gloss black trims here, A pillars, the roof, engine deck, all coverage. What we've also done is remove the badges. Remove the badges, so of course you've not got the uh, the ugly cutout from uh, from behind. The only one that we don't do is here, just because getting that off is a big job. I charge you for it. <laughs> so um, with regards to interior and carbon trim carbon trim is protected again gloss self-healing all templated and these here as well the kick strips this being carbon they're susceptible to being kicked quite often so what only do we do is roll over the PPF here where your heels kick but these are very expensive so these are protected with PPF also I believe so. you've um, actually done some treatment to the inside of the car as well interior and exterior so interior wise uh, G Technique, the only products that we use. The reason why it's developed by scientists, it's not full of nice smelling things to hide the mask, mask, something that shouldn't be there. It's a scientifically designed product to kill bacteria but protect it and not add a silly shine. It's there to look original. So that's been done on the seats, uh, the dash, the carpets. So the wheels have been removed and the calipers and the wheels inside and out coated with G Technique wheel armour also known as C5. And what people may not, um, some people may not notice are new to the channel, but people who've seen the car before will notice, colour change. Obviously the wheels were black before, the seal covers, the seal ends were black as well. The seal ends were actually film coated, uh, were film covered in black, um, black wrapped before. Um, and uh, so we decided to remove that and then take the wheels back to their standard colour, which is Argento Nürburgring Silver. 
Um, and story uh, behind that, we won't go into that yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had a bit of a worry about the colour to begin with, but it looks absolutely fantastic. And um, yeah, I mean, this is the, the, the work on the wheels, the wheels look absolutely phenomenal, they look brand new. It's an absolutely astonishing job that's been done. Good. But sorry, Pete. Um, well, the ceramic coating's there to protect not only the paint, but it's to make your life easier. You're going to drive this car, whether it's road, track, road trips, whatever it may be, you're going to get great dust on the wheels. It's just going to make it far easier to clean on the wheels, but also the calipers. Um, the glass has been treated as well with smart glass, again, G Technique. We've treated any trim with G Technique as well. Uh, there's a trim restore that's very good. It keeps it looking natural and it keeps it fed. Um, headlights have been done in PPF as well. Um, I guess, um, yeah, pretty much every area. <laughs> Had a look of it. Full coverage, just full coverage. So, look, you've got a car that's in such good condition, and it really is, why not protect it? You're protecting your investment. The reason I went for full PPF coverage in this manner was to get the car to the same standards as I had the 993S. The 993S was pretty much a garage queen and I drove it only on good, in good weather and it went to shows etc. And pretty much it's going to be the same for the, for the 458, probably drive it more because um, my son and I, Jacob, who's actually doing all the film work and editing, so thanks Jacob. Um, we're going to be doing some road trips with the car as well, possibly um, pretty much we're going to be doing the Mod Ball Rally next year for example and various other bits and pieces. You only live once and I ain't getting any younger so if I don't start doing these things now it ain't going to happen and my joints are starting to go from all the sports I've been involved in so it's getting harder and harder for me to get inside cars like this. But yes, yeah, so, so the car is, well, it's better than, than what the 993S looked like and that's exactly what I wanted. Um, so I can put the car put the car into the garage the same as it came out or take, you know, pretty much um, make sure that the car is kept in that sort of condition throughout. And then uh, if and when there does come a period when I sell it, it'll be in the same condition pretty much and it will keep its value as best it can, depending on market values, of course. Uh, on that note, aftercare? Oh yes, Can we tell you how yeah. to look after it? Yeah. This is the nag bit, I'm going to nag you. So, notice here, which is basically just saying the car's been installed with paint protection film and just not to wash the car for two weeks. The reason why PPF needs to naturally cure, it needs to sweat all the moisture out, because when you apply PPF, you're applying it with a lot of moisture. So you need that to naturally disperse and evaporate. Um, and we will not speed that up by popping bubble, bubbles and things like that. We'll just let it dry naturally. So, because you've, you've got that curing process, which we really say takes about 14 days. In the summer, it's a lot quicker. We've got the heat in the sun at the moment. You've got the heat from the engine. Um, but we just say, do not wash it for two weeks. We invite you back two weeks later for complimentary inspection. So bring it back. We'd love to be the first people to wash it. So we'll wash it while you wait, have a coffee, have a look around and then we will inspect the whole car, rectify any movement, because um, obviously PPF's adjusting, it may happen, it may not, if it does it's only minor, all be done while you wait, then you can be off again. So, we've looked at the best, do you want to look at some rest? Yeah. Let's have a look. Right, so, here. Speaks for itself, the new Ford GT. Iconic car, what a number plate. If you Google it, you'll understand why that number plate is that number plate. The customer doesn't mind with the number plate being on there, by the way. But that's a beautiful car, delivery mileage, that's having PPF coverage, of course. Uh, this again, very special car, SF90 Ferrari. Um, this is originally a gloss black car. What the customer has chosen to do is have satin PPF on it. So what it's doing is giving it a bit of a meaner look. You've still got all that protection. Just gives it a bit of a different look. I think it brings out the angles of the car a bit better as well. Is the, um, the stripe gloss as all well? This, so all this that. was gloss, this was gloss. The customer wanted it to go to a satin finish, but keep the carbon in gloss. You never know, you never know looking at this car that that was, that that was gloss. I assumed that it had satin PPF put on top of it, but that's impressive. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Time consuming, but very good. And then obviously, who doesn't love an E-Type? Yeah. 4.2 E-Type, recently restored. Beautiful car, again, in for custom PPF. So typically, uh, it won't be used heavily, but it will be used for daily or, or weekly jaunts to the pub or the restaurant or to a show. So that's having front end coverage and then custom PPF down the side, underneath the rear arches. And again, what a great car to work on. And it's a huge car. So that's a real challenge to do.
course, with the classic triple wipo system as well, which uh, everybody knows E types for. But of course, it's um, it was the 4.2s that had that. It was only certain E types that had the triple wiper configuration. I didn't know that. Yeah. Guilty. I didn't know that. <laughs> and who would take it out in the rain anyway? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't work anyway. And then obviously we've got our own car, which is being used this weekend for Supercar Fest in Northamptonshire. So this is going to be the course car, leading the cars out onto the track. They've got particular instructions not to um, drive it too fast or damage it. So I think 70 mile an hour is the limit. So that'll be out on Sunday. We've done the livery for it. And we've supplied some tyres with the new tyre stickers on there as well. And then next week we'll be tour up again. So that's another thing actually, another thing to talk about. Pete does livery um, for the stencils and these, these um, what do you call them? Decals. The decals. Pete does the decals as well for vehicles. So I'm pretty sure Pete's going to get my car back to do the mod ball decals as well and to do some rich review decals as well yep. for us, some custom rich review decals. So it's another little uh, additional benefit that Pete's has, an, uh, an, additional, um, an, an additional operation that Pete provides. This is typically our guinea pig car. So before we use any products or endorse any products, we put it on our own car. So whether it's carbon PPF, obviously that's a big thing now, carbon fiber look PPF. Black PPF is a new thing. Gloss PPF has been around for years, but we always put it on our own car just to test it. So that's been through the mill. It's had many, many, many different products on it. Still looks good. Yeah. Well, thanks very much, Pete. Thanks very much for taking this round. Very mindful, we've only got an hour of Pete's time because COVID situation, so the sort of rules that come into play with regards to the amount of time that we've got and um, Pete's got another customer coming in at two o'clock as well. Pete's exceptionally busy, which of course is a good sign for his business. You know, he's getting a lot of cars coming in, um, cars coming in all the time, supercars mostly coming in. Um, therefore, you know, we've only got a certain amount of time available. Um, and, you know, as I say, that's a good thing because it proves that Pete really knows his stuff. You know, you know people recommend him and bring their cars to him. To, to perform this fantastic work. We've got so, an open door policy. Everyone wants to come in, give us a call. We can put you in for consultation. Don't think it's just supercars though. We do, we've got a Golf A45. Uh, a new Defender in there, which is having a satin conversion. We've got the Golf there. So we do everything. We've done a rickshaw. We've just <laughs> done a go-kart for our good friends at Hype Clothing. Um, we do all sorts keeps it interesting. Yeah, definitely, yeah. That's Good. fantastic. Well, thanks for coming in. Enjoy the car. Thanks. Good to see you. Thanks very much, Pete. We just got the drive home now. We've got to drive all the way back from Leicester, so we're going to enjoy the car on the way back, which will be the uh, most amount of mileage we've ever put on the car since we've had it. As Pete says, we'll bring the car back up so Pete can assess it, do any, hmm. any slight adjustments if required to the actual film, and uh, it'll be good to come up and see Pete again. Yeah. Are you going to bring biscuits next time? Yeah, I can bring some biscuits up, yeah. <laughs> Pete shakes. provided the coffee. Protein oh, shakes yeah, as well. Protein shake, yeah. Always <laughs> welcome. So that's it, we're here now. The car's been fully PPF covered. We're now at the, I'm now at the position with the car as I want it to be. We've got the garage done. We've got the car PPF. It's all ceramic coated as well. The car could not be in better condition than this. It's all prepared now for all, we all weather terrain. Not that it's ever going to get used in all weather terrain. <laughs> we might catch some rain on the way back looking at the forecast, but I don't think we will, fingers crossed. Um, but the car is now fully prepared, the garage is done, um, so that's it. We can pretty much draw a line underneath it, just maintenance um, and, uh, and services going forward. It's still got two years left of its service pack and it's got two year power warranty on it, which covers this year and next year on both those items. So uh, pretty much done now on the main costs on the car, apart from fuel. Fuel, this drinks fuel. <laughs> Compared to the 993, it really drinks it. But, uh, but there we go. So if you've enjoyed watching the video, guys, please give it a good old thumbs up. Give it a like. Um, plenty more videos to come. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already so that you'll get notified of all future incoming videos. Loads more content to come on the 458. We'll be covering off all bits and pieces on this. We'll be doing a walk around, giving you detail about all the other bits and pieces that, that uh, have been done on the car. Obviously going through the specification on the car as well. So. Please make sure you subscribe if you want to receive notifications of all future and coming videos. We're trying to grow the channel to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. Again, we've got a lot of viewers that aren't actually subscribed, about 90 odd percent. So if we can convert some of those into subscribed viewers, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Thanks a lot to all my loyal viewers and take care guys. We'll see you in the next video.